Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the card of the day. One card message for you when you find this reading. So, what do we have for a message today? This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it is the right time. This is the message for you, okay? You have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. Empress is the birth of a new life, okay? Uh, it's a rebirth. It's a time of beauty and abundance and love, okay? When you get the Empress, and I know that's not the card in my hand, I don't know what's in my hand, but when, you, when the Empress comes up, it's time. It's time for a delivery. It's time for a rebirth. It's time for a new life. This, when the Empress comes up, this is Venus energy. This is a flood of abundance and love flowing into your life. The, uh, the Empress is a goddess. She's a creator. She creates life through nurturing, um, tender, loving care. This is a flood of abundance and love coming in after a period of pain and suffering it's over things are probably going to start to get better it's definitely a time of fertility and growth mm. the queen of cups reverse now the queen of cups reverses uh sad tears loss um heartbroke heartbroken um Lack of love, very interesting. Because this is love. This is unconditional love. This is being loved and cared for. It's a flood of abundance. It's creating things, creating new life. This is somebody that uh, puts in a lot of effort to nurture things. This is the exact opposite. Queen of Cups reversed, emotionally withdrawn. Um, could be somebody that is focusing on themselves instead of anybody else. Uh, Queen of Cups reverse, sad, heartbroken, emotionally uh, bankrupt, maybe. Queen of Cups reverse, sad, tears, loss, um, doesn't have good intentions, wishy washy, clingy, needy, sensitive, crying. There's a need to take care of yourself. You need to take care of yourself. That's why I looked on the bottom. I usually don't for these one card readings. It's interesting. There's a need to nurture yourself, take care of yourself, really take care of yourself, listen to your intuition, follow your heart. If you're sad, if you're lonely, if you are, you know, suffering from some sort of loss, you know, maybe you just need to take care of yourself. Maybe it's time for a new life. Maybe it's time. It's time for a new life. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that's not taking care of them, you know, you know, and maybe you just need to take care of yourself. There's some there could even be some sort of emotional what's well, emotional shutdown, no communication. Emotional withdrawal, emotions all over the place. It's interesting because I said the Empress, you know, she get, she gives to birth to a new life after pain. This is sad. It's it, it's it's sad. There's no growth here. There's there's a need to take care of yourself. Somebody really needs to nurture themselves. So anyway, I guess my message for today is you have the ability to create a new life. This is about creating a new life. 
The Empress does it with ease, okay? She does it with ease. This is, things happen easily because of her energy, because of how she is. She's very laid back. She's gentle. She's compassionate. She, it, she knows that blessings come, okay? She believes. A blessing is coming. A blessing is coming. It is. I would say get prepared because a blessing is coming. If you have been sad or you've been in your emotions or something like that, a blessing is coming. This is a motherly energy. This is somebody who mothers things, who takes care of things easily, with ease. This is a new life. This is a, this is a new life. So creating a new life, it's a time of rebirth, it's a time of fertility. Good luck.